Back in 2008, my husband and I owned a beautiful four bedroom and two story house. But the housing market crash left us broke and forced us to move out. We didn't have the same kind of money we had when we first moved into our house. So we were forced to drastically downscale our lives and move into a not so new house. Don't get me wrong, the house we found wasn't horrible, but there definitely were a few things wrong with it. It was an older house. The outside of it looked like it was never repainted. The walls had a yellowish tint to them from the prior homeowners smoking cigarettes inside and the air conditioner needed to be fixed. But honestly, that was simply all we could afford. The first night we lived there, we were both in bed and I could hear something. It kind of sounded like scratching in the walls, but it was so faint that I wasn't really sure even I heard anything at all. I just ignored it and went back to bed. The next day, I was eating breakfast at the table and I heard it again. I went to investigate the noises. I went outside and noticed a tree on the side of our house was smacking against the house from the windy day that it was. Yet, it wasn't the same type of scratching, but I figured that must be what it was. That night, I was in bed again with my husband. I heard the scratching again. I woke my husband up and asked him what that was. My husband is not a night guy. He gets very annoyed when he gets woken up. So he grunted and said, uh, I don't know, I'll figure it out tomorrow. I said, okay, and went to sleep. In the middle of the night, I woke up to a pain on my torso. I opened my eyes and screamed louder than I have ever screamed before. My husband jumped up to see what I had seen. I was covered in rats. They were crawling on my body and all in my bed. We both jumped up screaming. We ran out of the room and into the living room. It was 2 a.m. so no exterminators were open. We waited till morning and then we called them. I must have taken three showers back to back that night. And now when I'm sleeping, I'll sometimes burst awake screaming, feeling like I'm covered in rats. My wife and son and I moved into this house back in 2006. It was a cute little home, kind of a fixer-upper, but we ultimately liked it. We had never owned a home before. The first few nights of us living there, everything was normal. But then one morning, my wife and I woke up to the loud sound of buzzing. We were shocked to find that in the living room, one of the walls was completely covered in flies. Flies have never bothered me, but seeing that many made me sick to my stomach. There must have been a thousand flies. My wife went to the kitchen and pulled out some cleaning supplies to spray the flies and kill them. Once we killed the flies, we scrubbed the wall, and that was it. Until we woke up the next morning. We heard that buzzing noise again. We looked at each other in disbelief that there would be flies again. We went out into the living room, and the same wall was covered in flies once again. We sprayed the flies, and my wife got back to scrubbing the walls. But this time, she scrubbed so hard that the paint started wearing off. And that's when we noticed some sort of red paint under the white paint. So I jumped in and we both started scrubbing the walls aggressively. After 30 minutes of scrubbing, my wife and I froze. My wife dropped her scrub brush. We both slowly took steps backwards to see that under the paint was a huge painted satanic symbol. I had moved into a duplex with my dog Tyrion. I don't have a girlfriend or a family, so I only needed a small duplex for me and a small backyard for Tyrion to run around. I'm very close to my dog. I've had him for six years now. I treat him like he's my son. I buy him expensive dog food and a ton of toys. The only problem is that he buries all of his toys and then forgets where he buries them. So I constantly have to buy him more. 
Sometimes I'll look outside and see him digging in the yard, trying to find his toys he buried. So one evening during the summer, I came home from the store and bought Tyrion a new squeaky ball toy. He went wild over it. I loved that. I open up the back sliding door and let him take his toy into the backyard. I go sit on my couch and watch TV. I look over at Tyrion time to time and see him in the backyard, digging. I kind of chuckle to myself. I'm in the middle of a show when I feel a nudge on my arm. I look over and Tyrion is holding something that's completely covered in dirt. I get up and take it from him because he's getting dirt all over the carpet. I took it over to the sink to wash it off for him. As I'm washing it, I'm starting to realize that I'm not washing off a toy that I bought him. I scrape a little more dirt off and then I gasp and drop the item as I back away. What I was holding was a human skull that Tyrion dug up. I have a big family a wife, and four kids, three boys, one girl. Our baby girl was born a few months ago. We lived in a nice apartment, but needed to upgrade to a house for space. We house searched for a while until we came across this beautiful home for a ridiculously cheap price. We asked our realtor what the catch was. Why was it so cheap? She said that the last few families experienced weird things happening and they all moved out, and since then, no one wanted to move in. I'm not a man of superstition, so I jumped on this deal and moved my family in, and almost immediately, things started happening. Even on moving day, we had boxes stacked on boxes, and randomly, the boxes would fall onto the floor. Weird, yes, but simple explanation. The boxes just fell from the weight. Within that week, we would wake up from hearing things banging around in the kitchen, but all the kids were asleep. But then things started getting really weird. Our oldest son woke us up one night and said there's something watching him sleep in the shadows of his room. We investigated, but found nothing. We let him sleep in our bed for the next few days until our youngest son, who shared a room with the baby, came running into our room. He said he woke up and something was holding our baby. We ran into his room to find our baby on the floor behind the door in the shadows. That was almost enough for us to not want to live there. But the final straw was when the following night we saw something that was completely unexplainable. We saw in our room footprints leading up to our bed where we had the kids sleeping with us. The footprints started from behind the door up to our bed, and then the footprints turned and walked towards the wall, and then up the wall and onto the ceiling and back to the shadow behind the door. We moved our family out the next day. I am a nurse so I make a good amount of money. I'm single and only needed a small house to move into. I found a cute little house and it was in a pretty nice neighborhood, so I moved in. I loved the area. People actually brought me welcome to the neighborhood food. Almost everyone except the neighbor to my left. He also lived alone. I didn't really think much of him until I started noticing things about him. It seemed like every time I took the trash out, he took it out at the same exact time. Maybe it was a coincidence. But also, every time I left to go anywhere, he'd be going to his car the same time I was going to mine. Every time I did yard work, he was doing yard work. It made me feel really uncomfortable. I was starting to get paranoid and think maybe he was possibly spying on me, watching every move I made. I felt like maybe I needed to test it out to see if that was the case. So I casually grabbed my purse one afternoon, grabbed the car keys, and headed to the car. Sure enough, he left his house and started heading to his car too. But then I pretended like I forgot something 
and went back inside. And sure enough, he went back into his house. Now I knew he was somehow watching me. I had to learn more. So a few days later, I did the routine again, grabbed my purse and keys and headed to the car. And there he was, no surprise. I then got in my car and started driving away. But once I turned the corner, I gunned it and then parked in a hidden location. I slumped into my seat and waited until I saw him drive past my car. I then turned around and drove home in a hurry. I got out of the car and hopped the fence into his backyard. I went to the back sliding door and it was unlocked. So I went into his house. I walked through his house so scared of him coming home. But then I found his bedroom. In his bedroom, he had a computer monitor turned on. I walked up to it and saw what I was fearing the most. He had four cameras, all pointed at different parts of my house. He could completely see into my entire house. He was watching every move I made. I didn't call the police because I was scared they would know that I broke into this guy's house. But I did confront the guy with a few of the male neighbors in the neighborhood. We told him to pack his stuff and move out, or we would call the police. He did eventually move after that, but I still feel like I'm being watched at all times.